Okay, if I see you, this is our uh, pattern that we'll be using. Uh, the first step is the FI area that we will develop and FI uh, areas will take care of GL account level data, okay? Like um, telephone expense, um, admin costs, and cafeteria charges, okay? FI is for internal and external reporting. On the other side, on the flip side, we have CO, controlling, okay? Now controlling is basically used for uh, to calculate product cost, manufacturing cost. So cost accounting and for management accounting and uh, it's also to find manufacturing costs or uh, you can say we have to be using CO for product costing. Okay, so at GL level, FI will be helping us, but at CO level, it will be detailed level that we will be seeing and seeing what the same thing. Uh, telephone expenses, we'll be dividing this over cost centers and production cost centers and department wise, admin cost and department wise, cafe area cost. Okay, so CO is purely uh, internal, is for management and they can actually uh, uh, design and configure CO as per their requirement. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's start with our configuration. Our configuration will be very straightforward. Okay. And configuration node is SPRO. reference IMG and over here we have to first configure our company code definition financial accounting we will define company code and company will decide that later but let's first go for company code company code is your Financial entity, okay. So we will copy, delete, check and copy organizational object from company code LAP9 to LAP1. Now LAP is basically we are using for product costing, okay. So continue, we are picking up a template do you want to copy the GL account of company code data? No, we will be designing that on our own. Do you want to copy the assignment to controlling area? No, we will be designing that on our own. Uh, do you want to allocate a different currency? Yes. And that currency will be um, AED. Continue. Certain data was not copied, it doesn't matter, but our first step is that we set up a company and this will require some Kashisab, can you hear me? Do you want to transport the marriages? Yes.
Okay, Kajisa, can you hear me? I think you have an audio issue at your end because my mic is showing that I am being audible. Okay. Now I will create a new transport request and that transport request will be LAP1. FICO, COPC, config, bus shift, and what else do we have? Are then, and who else do we have? Shaki. Okay. okay Shaki himself has joined us today. Shaki. Okay. Save. Now, this node will be your reference node whenever you want to actually come back and check your configuration. Okay. So, next step EC01 is the T code that we were using. Copy company code, copy. Okay. These are some chicks. Continue. Okay, our first part is that company code LAP1 has been configured. Okay, edit company code data. Actually, wait. Patience for the server to respond is taking some time. Can everyone hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now let's see, LAP1 is our company. LAP1. Now this is company code is basically an entity, a node in SAP, which 
can create its own financial statements. Okay. Next step is creating segments. Now segments are business verticals in SAP. Now this can be geographical like product wise. Now segments are basically created for profit centers. Now we'll be discussing profit centers as we move ahead. Okay. So we have um let's say L1 SU SUV L L1 L1 um uh passenger vehicles. Next step is financial accounting in global setting, ledgers, fields, field status, variants. Okay, field status variants will be triple zero one no we'll go for l a p nine l a p nine l one nine one l nine l nine one two three four Triple zero one copy as L L nine FS. Okay, L nine FS is our required. FS. Copy as L one FS field status variant for L A P one. Copy all. Now, what is this field status variance? Let me explain. You have configured company code segment, and now field status variant. A field status variant, of course, is something we have. We will have quite a lot to do when we are creating entries. Okay. Now, for example. Let me FS double zero. FS double zero is creating GL account master data. Okay. Now, this is a uh, where we create GL account master data for various company codes. Right now, the company code that is uh, active over here and being displayed is AA43. We will we will actually show AA42, let's say. Over here, we have categories that we have created, okay? Like expense accounts, material accounts. Every account has its own set of screens those screens will have fields like these okay for example double click petty expense double a 42 create bank interest now field status group this is what we are actually looking at right now okay g01 now what is in this we'll go ahead and see but first let me show you what is in lp9 now lp9 is our LAP9 is our model, a template that we have actually created for product costing, profit center accounting. 
okay and over here we have zero balance accounts assets expenses vehicle maintenance uh cost of goods sold for example if i click on cost of goods sold uh, we have change in stock accounts okay let's go and see what do we have in field status variants okay let's say for for example if i compare general and cost accounts let's see general in general data there will be fields that will be shown upon entry when we are using that gl some fields will be shown to me for example assignment number invoice reference and text now where do i actually see this let me show you that as well fp01l now these are the fields okay over here, if you see a, a field is marked with a star, that means it is mandatory, okay? LP1, AED, but no, let me, because we have not created in GLs right now, LP9, IN, INR, Indian rupees, okay? Um, LP9. Let's say electricity charges. Owner at 392. Enter. Now these are the fields. For example, assignment text. These are actually marked in field status variant as optional entries. If I actually mark them as required entries, there will be a star that will be shown over here. Okay, now see cost center is actually shown a star, which is making it mandatory. Why is it making it mandatory? Let's go over and check and see why it is mandatory because uh, 40392, right? That is the code, 40392 electricity charges slash NFS double zero. Four hundred three nine two electricity charges. Over here is it is it is saying G zero zero two cost account is cost center is required. Now let's go and see what is there in G zero two. In G zero two cost account cost accounts cost center is required. Okay, I'll go to additional account assignment. And over here, if we see cost center is required, that's why we see there is, there is a requirement, mandatory requirement actually uh, to mention cost center. That is how you actually plan a field through field status variants, okay? So this is just a light, I've, uh, a light explanation that I have given you, okay? So I'll save it, L1FS in the same node. And I'll go back, L1FS, and I will assign the company code to field status variance. Same, L1FS, okay. Position, LAP1. L9FS has been assigned over here. We'll just mention it, L1FS. Save. Okay, next step. Okay, fiscal year and posting periods. Fiscal year variant. Now, what are fiscal year variant? Now, fiscal year variant are, are basically compliant as per the country's jurisdiction. Some countries will actually follow January, December, that is calendar years. Okay, some companies 
uh, are following April to March. Okay, and some companies are following July to June. That happens in Pakistan, India. So we'll be using calendar year to make it really straightforward and simple to understand. So let's see which is our calendar year. Calendar year is K4. Okay, it is also marked as in calendar year. It is not year dependent. If it is year dependent, it will mean that the days in that calendar will be the same and it will be followed in SAP as per the calendar. Okay, if the Sunday is falling on 34th of September today, it will show it as a Sunday, which will be a holiday for corporate offices if we are configuring areas in HCM. So year dependent fiscal years are also allowed by SAP. Uh, number of periods is 12. Four special periods are for adjustment at month end and year end. Adjustments, adjustments like adjustments for taxes, for depreciation, unpost, unposted invoices, year, IR clearing. Okay. And for settlement, uh, that has to be run between FI, MMCO. Okay. So we'll be using K4. Okay. And K4 will be attached to the company code. K4 will be January, December, straightforward. Nothing complex. LAP1. LAP1 will be K4. Calendar year, four special periods, save. Now these are just the settings right now. We are not doing anything on the front end of SAP, okay? Okay. That being said, it was saved. Posting periods. Now what are posting periods? Now posting periods are unlike fiscal year variant. Fiscal year variant is the periods that are complying to the fiscal year of a company. Variance for uh, posting periods. Now which periods will have to be open for input entries? Let's see that. L1, L9, PP. Don't have that. L nine. L nine FS. Okay, posting period variant. Uh, copy as. Sign variants, company code. Okay, open and close opening periods. Now, this is interesting. Uh, L1 FS. Okay, new entries. Let's do one thing now and copy this from another because it will take free time. Maintain all. Okay, triple zero one. ADKK. ADK. ADK material. Okay, fine. Copy as. L one FS.
Okay, period of 2003, period one of Okay, now what I've done is I've opened periods for first month, that is January till December of 2023. Special periods are for adjustments, as I mentioned earlier, and I will save it. Data was saved. And it is already assigned to the company code. Now, let's come to the next point that is... General ledger accounting, master data, GL accounts, preparations, edit chart of account list. Okay. Okay. Now. L9CA. Okay, we have L9CA. New entries L1CA. This is CA charts of accounts and LAP1. Maintenance language is English. 10 is the GL account number. Save. Okay, and assign the company codes to chart of accounts. Uh, position, and the one, and line CA, and line CA, save, save. It was saved. Okay, define account group. Very easy. We can copy this from LP9. L9CA. Okay, now what are these accounts? I will just explain. Let me just copy as L1C. Okay, now we'll be making GL accounts. Okay, GL accounts in these different categories assets, expenses, income, liabilities, and secondary costs. Secondary costs will be used for CO, controlling for costing for profit center, accounting for allocating and transferring costs from 
primary that is primary sources that is geo or from secondary sources that is from controlling internal orders or cost centers that we'll discuss in the future right now let me save that and and one thing i have to make it a little bit easier 70,000 Sets will be two, 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 nine, nine. So this is Income is 300, If now this will actually help us in creating accounts when we are creating in the master data, which is this. And from where do we see? Because this is 400, 392. So this is account group that we have just created. Secondary was zero balance income expenses and assets. Okay. Till now, it is good.